Here are some tips to help reduce underarm underarm sweating, also known as axillary hyperhidrosis, can be uncomfortable and embarrassing. Here are some tips to help reduce underarm sweating. Wear breathable fabrics. Choose natural fabrics like cotton or linen that allow your underarms to breathe and help wick away moisture from your skin. Use antiperspirants. Apply clinical strength or prescription strength antiperspirants to your underarms. Look for products containing aluminum chloride, which helps reduce sweat production. Apply antiperspirant at night. Apply antiperspirant to dry underarms before going to bed. This allows the product to work overnight and provides better efficacy compared to applying it in the morning. Keep underarms clean. Wash your underarms daily with a gentle soap or antibacterial wash to remove bacteria and odor. Keeping the area clean can help reduce sweating and control body odor. Avoid spicy foods and caffeine. Certain foods and beverages like spicy foods and caffeinated drinks can trigger sweating. Limit your consumption of these items to help manage underarm sweating. Stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water helps regulate your body temperature and can reduce excessive sweating. Aim for at least 8 glasses of water per day. Manage stress. Stress and anxiety can contribute to increased sweating. Practice relaxation techniques such as deep breathing exercises, meditation, or yoga. to help manage stress levels wear loose fitting clothing tight clothing can trap heat and increase sweating opt for loose fitting and lightweight garments that allow air circulation and minimize sweating use sweat absorbing pads or liners disposable or reusable underarm pads or liners can be placed inside your clothing to absorb sweat and prevent it from staining your clothes consult a healthcare professional If excessive underarm sweating persists and significantly affects your daily life, consider seeking medical advice. A healthcare professional may recommend treatments such as prescription antiperspirants, iontophoresis, botox injections, or other medical interventions.